Hello, welcome to Vlog Summer. Today's video is a very anticipated video because it is my 2021 favorites. This video was so hard to plan out because there were so many new new to me new makeup that I discovered and fell in love with into 2021. It was very hard to choose. Usually what other influencers or YouTubers do or that I did in the I, I think I did this last year too. I chose the favorite 2021 new releases but i decided that this time around this year i'm gonna do the new makeup new to me all right let's start with i have it in my notes because there was so many i have really had to think about this let's start with primer if you've seen my videos before you know that i don't tend to use primer i use moisturizer as primer and this is the one that i wear 99 percent of the time it is the bobby brown vitamin rich face base always mentioning it i've used it a lot i've given it a lot of love it's almost halfway it smells citrusy which i don't mind it's just it's a beautiful moisturizer and and it serves as primer at the same time it just gives me a really nice base it doesn't irritate me it just gives me the moisture that i need before any makeup application i am wearing it today all the products that i'm mentioning now i'm not necessarily wearing them i am wearing some of them and i will bring that up to you so you guys know what i'm wearing so the next product i'm gonna go into tinted moisturizer there were there are a few that i love the chantecaille one the la mer one those are really good for me 2021 the tinted moisturizer that i fell in love with is a laura mercier i wear this a lot for those quick sunday looks when i just want to wear something light and go out the door this is a beautiful tinted moisturizer it is oil free and they have another one that is not oil free but honestly don't see the difference and i did a video comparing both of them side by side and i did not see a difference or feel a difference this is by spectrum spf 20 sunscreen it does not replace my sunscreen but it does help that it has a little bit more sunscreen so next is cushion foundation i i could have done the foundation just in one group but i couldn't leave out cushion foundation the cushion foundation of course you know i wear this all the time <laughs> it is the chantecaille future skin cushion skincare foundation i wear the shade alabaster i'm already gonna order my backup i love this uh, foundation the packaging is beautiful the philanthropy behind this company is it's wonderful i love that but the product itself it is wonderful it's my favorite cushion foundation there are other runner-ups that are really good i'm not gonna say that they're not good they're wonderful but this was my favorite choice it just gives me really light coverage when i think about this cushion foundation what it really comes to mind the, the first thought is the way it leaves my skin when i apply it's nice but as hours go by my skin feels much healthier much lovely and when i take it off my skin looks better than in the morning before i applied it does wonderful things for your skin so i had to talk about it now foundation like foundation foundation <laughs> I was undecided between a few, but I'm gonna have to pick the La Paris. It is not new for 2021, but it is new for me. I am wearing it today. The Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation Sunscreen SPF 15. The packaging is beautiful. I love it, but the product is just gorgeous. You only need a little bit. It is a very high-end product. You don't need a lot. You only need like a few dots to cover your whole your whole skin. And it does have the concealer on top, so you have a two-in-one. So it, it's I think it's really good because it is one point fluid ounce which is what most foundation products have one point and it also has a concealer on top so you have a twin one and it's a beautiful excellent product look how beautiful it leaves my skin i do have highlighter on but you can still see the glowiness coming through and it's still not full coverage because i don't like full coverage but it you could make it full coverage it is light to medium coverage and you could always build it up to make it even more more fuller if that makes sense more coverage uh concealer i do love that concealer but i have to say that for 2021 i discovered another concealer that i also love very much and that's the one i'm going to mention now my favorite concealer of all time i think is hands down the dior skin uh skin correct what is it called forever skin correct but i didn't discover it in 2021 what i discovered in 2021 and really and very recently actually was this month but i know i love it it's a shade and illuminate concealer from tom ford it just gives me a beautiful coverage. I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing the one from La Paris, but it's a beautiful coverage. It brightens up my eye area. You only need a little bit, a little bit. And I think it's beautiful. I, I wear it for the whole day, like the whole work day, and it was still giving me a beautiful coverage. No creasy, no transferring, like it didn't go sip into my little fine lines. It's a beautiful concealer. Now powder, I'm gonna mention two powders, pressed powder and loose powder the loose powder i discovered it recently i discovered it like this month 
I've had it for a little bit, but I started using it this month. And I know it's too recent to say it's my favorite, but I know it's my favorite because it's just it just sits beautifully on my skin. And this it's what I'm wearing it today. It's the La Paris Skin Caviar Loose Powder. I only needed just a little bit to see to set my my concealer, my eye area, and a little bit of the skin. The packaging is gorgeous. The the product is beautiful. Um, I just love it love it and as for press powder i had to mention the flower power perfect blur finishing powder from shantikai this was released in the springtime it's a beautiful beautiful not only beautiful packaging but the product it really does blur like all your pores and all those little any little imperfections like um anything you have on your skin it does really give you like a blurring effect and again you don't need a lot which i love that about the products that you don't you don't need to use a lot or reapply to have the same effect it's a wonderful powder as you guys m some of you might already know some of these products so you know that it's a wonderful product and it lasts a long time i've used it a lot and i've seen it from other other friends in youtube and instagram that they use it a lot and it's very hard to hit pan so it's gonna last you a long time i think the um, yeah shelf life is 30 months but with powder products i know you could extend a little bit more so you have it for what almost three years two years and a half that's pretty good now we're gonna go into bronzer or bronzer blush and highlighter and i'm gonna talk first about the liquid ones i'm gonna it's kind of a cheat because it's three in one i discovered this about a month ago and i fell in love since the first moment i saw them they are the petite sticks they are small the petite sticks from westman atelier they are all so beautiful let me show you i messed up the bronzer because i put on the lid before i closed it this is the bronzer I'm not going to swatch them. I did do a video about them. I'm going to put that video at the link at the end. And this is the highlighter. I'm sorry, the blush. They melt right into your skin. The packaging, I always mention packaging because I'm a sucker for packaging. This gives you like a wet highlighter look and I just love it. It looks natural like if you're naturally glowing. They give you this natural look like you're naturally flushing. You're naturally glowing. They're beautiful. I did get the light version. There's a darker version for, for, uh, for darker skin. Um, it's just wonderful. They are minis and they're not magnetic but if you get the full size i know they're magnetic but i wanted to get the petite sticks first to try them out and see how i like it i'm definitely gonna get the full size once i'm done with these they're perfect for traveling they fit anywhere but for powder bronzers and highlighters and blush this was also a very hard decision because i have a few bronzers that i discovered in 2021 which i love but i'm gonna stick to one and it's the victoria beckham matte bronzing brick i have the shade 01 I love, again, the packaging. Wonderful. The only thing that is a negative, and you guys probably know this already, that the packaging, the clip is a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard to close and to open. Some people had issues and they had to return it. I know it's a little bit hard, but I didn't return it because it's not that bad. It, it At least it closes. And this is what it looks like. It does have a mirror and it has two shades, two sides for darker, darker contour and lighter. What I usually do is I mix them both together and it gives you a really nice, beautiful color i love this this bronzer it doesn't patch up it just applies beautifully i haven't tried the other shades but i know this shade is good enough for me because it goes well with my skin the blush that i want to mention is from chantecai it's from the new pearl collection the rouge pearl in the shade akoya well they only have one for now i guess i don't know they're coming out with more the again i keep on repeating myself but the packaging i love it's so beautiful i have them sitting on my desk on my vanity because i think it's so pretty this is what it looks like and when i saw the the shade online i was like a little bit scared intimidated because it is a little bit hard a little bit dark too pink for me my friend in sa and chantecai ramiro recommended it to me and said that it was going to be a perfect shade for my skin not to be scared of it and he was absolutely right i don't have it on today because i'm trying out another blush it's not super pigmented that it's scary when you apply it, it looks so natural like you're naturally flushing maybe you see it let me get a little bit more because i'm trying to be conservative here look how pretty it's so so pretty so i i just love it and it applies so naturally it doesn't have any highlight but it's not completely matte i think it does have some some very light like skin like glow to it but it's not because it's not completely matte which i like as well all right i'm gonna go into highlighter this was very hard to choose but i had to decide between uh for one um i am wearing my my first pick and my runner-up on different sides of the skin let me mention the runner-up first 
and it's a Shantikai, I'm sorry, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. This one broke, um, the first one broke, and I had to repurchase it because I love it. I love the packaging, I love everything about it, and I'm wearing it on this side. But the one I chose, I finally chose, it's so hard to choose, my friends, it really is. It's the Golden Glow from Dior Forever Couture Illuminizer, which I'm wearing on this side. They are very similar, but the only difference that I notice is that the Charlotte Tilbury one does... Um, show a little bit more texture a little bit more but the dual one is just you can see it it's beautiful and it doesn't really bring up my texture that much so that's why i chose this highlighter there are a lot of highlighters that i i discovered this month and i it's that's why it's hard for me because i don't want it to make it look like all the other highlighters and blushes and bronzers and all the other makeup that i used during the year was not good enough they were, they were excellent there were many many new releases in 2021 and new to me makeup that i fell in love with but i can't mention all of them so i'm gonna go in next with um i wasn't gonna talk about this but because i have to <laughs> it's a face palette it's kind of a cheat because it does have highlighter eyeshadow brun uh, blush and everything but i have to mention it it's a charlotte tilbury nude gasm face palette i use this face palette so much this year i love it i took it on my vacation it's so beautiful so beautiful because you have all four in one this you have the bronzers and the contour and then you have the blush and you have the highlighter i use this as eyeshadow as face palette it is wonderful i love it very very much it is easy to use easy to carry take it anywhere and you save space in your makeup bag it's just beautiful the fact that i use it so many times and i see myself picking it up a lot during the year it says a lot because i do have a growing collection i do try new makeup every week so it means a lot all right let's keep on going this is fun it's hard but it's fun for brows i did not discover anything new this year i don't do my brows much i didn't do my brows today when i do my brows it was charlotte tilbury legendary brows and that's not new so for eyeshadow this was another hard topic i'm gonna just do two categories single eyeshadows and palettes you guys know if you see my videos how much i love chantecaille so i had to choose a chantecaille this was a new release this year the chantecaille luminescent eye shade in uh, tiger or regal emerald the packaging is super super beautiful and the color is just out of this world i have never seen something like this or nothing exactly the same it looks green it's emerald green but then when the light hits it it has some purple and look at that let me show you the you know how you see it in the mirror let me see if i could do it you see look at the mirror the reflection is dirty i'm sorry but the reflection it's like purple it just depends how the light hits it it has a beautiful shift like it's green but then it's purple i love this shim this eyeshadow and I, I had to include it but for palettes i am going to talk about in general the dior queens all of them all the ones that i have i did try a dior it was in the beginning of the year in the spring the dior i forgot the name that it was three shades that was a terrible terrible quad terrible palette but the quints itself i love the dior formula for eyeshadows in general and i had to mention the quints i'm not gonna show you all or swatch all i mean but i am gonna show you my favorite quint is still mitza but that wasn't released in 2021 and that I didn't discover it in 2021. Dior came out with two quints for, I think this was fall. The Birds of a Feather. This is Nightbird. I gotta mention it. It's beautiful. It does have a shift, so it does show different colors. This green was beautiful. This one's like a peacock turquoise, and this one has like a green and blue. It was beautiful on the eyes. They also came out in the same collection. The Early Bird, which is number 659. This is not my favorite of the two, but it's almost my favorite. Like It's almost tied because it's beautiful purple and that mustard color is just gorgeous. And that highlight in the middle, I use it as a highlight. Beautiful. But And then there was another one that came out. Oh, Golden Day. Golden Day was very pretty as well, but mine broke. One of the shades fell off, as you can see. It was, it was a pretty quint, but I just had that small disappointment. I wanted to show you because in general, all the quints that I tried this year were good. But of all the ones that I tried this year, my favorite was Cruise. The Cruise Look 022. It's just the colors that I go for. I'm not wearing it today, although it looks like it because they're similar colors. But I'm not wearing this quint today. I just like, these are my colors. I, I love nudes and oranges and, and browns for my eyes. I use other colors from time to time. But these are the ones that I usually go for. I just love it. This is my favorite quint of the year and i had to show you all of them because they're just in general they're all wonderful all right let's go into mascara mascara was also a difficult one but i'm gonna stick to my decision this is the i i think 
is probably the mascara release of the year. It's the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes. I've been using it almost every day since I purchased it. Almost. Because I, I again, I had to try other mascaras as well. I'm wearing it today. It is so, so wonderful. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is the wand. I can't stop talking about this mascara. It, it holds the lift, the volume for 8, 10, 12 hours. I've tried it. Trust me. Well, at least it works for me. It might not work for you because... You know, makeup is subjective and relative to each person. Some people didn't like it, but a lot of people did, and I was one of them. It has really good reviews online and for a reason. After 8, 10, 12 hours, I've done a test. It does hold the lift. It's not like super dramatic, super long lashes. No, but I think they're perfect because perfect for me. They It, it doesn't transfer. It doesn't clump. It gives me a beautiful look without being like overly dramatic. If you wear falsies, it will be good too because it really does hold up the curl. The volume so i had to include that for eyeliner uh, i don't wear eyeliner much i just don't because like i don't i don't have a really steady hand for some reason like i could never do like a straight line and i don't know how to do the wing i'm i'm being honest here like i'm always am but i have to mention i'm not sure if i discovered this in 2021 i know it's not new in 2021 but i don't remember when i discovered it i think i bought it either at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021 but i hadn't used it my friend Jen from My Hello Gorgeous recommended it to me. And I was like, I purchased it like in a sale or something. And I kept it there. But I don't think I used it till 2021. Which was a bad, an oversight of mine. Because it is wonderful. It's one of the best liquid eyeliners that I've personally used. And it's the Eye Definer Pen. The the packaging, again, Tom Ford. is very Tom Ford-ish. Beautiful. And it does have a thinner side. This is like the bigger size, the thicker side. It's still very thin. It's it's a bigger bigger applicator. And this one, a little tiny one. This is the one I I tend to use. Oh, and I'm I'm wearing it today. It just gives me like an extra pop. The product would last you for a long time. I know people that have had it for two three years, and it's still and it's still good as new. It doesn't dry. It is uh, a little bit pricey. It is Tom Ford, and I gotta mention that because it is pricey, but I think it's worth every penny because it does apply beautifully. It lasts beautifully, and the product itself will last you a very very long time way beyond its expiration date it doesn't dry up for a very long time i haven't heard anybody yet that say that it dries up so that's how long it lasts for um lip liner again i'm not a big lip liner user but looking through my collection i did discover this lip liner well the wayne goss lip liners are are wonderful as is cold pencils are really good too and there were some from shantikai that i i also enjoy but I, my favorites that I gotta mention is from Lisa Elridge is the Enhanced and Defined Limp Pencil and Ribbon. Usually when I wear lip liner is when I, it's, I'm wearing red lipstick, usually. I'm not wearing it today, but I do wear it often. And let me show you what it looks like. See, I have used it often because it's not pointy anymore. Let me apply it right here on the, on the side. It's so creamy. So creamy. The other um, lip liners, they're also very good. And they were like, I was hesitant as well. Or the BK Beauty ones. Those were sent to me, uh, the whole collection. And they're really, really, really good. I just, since I only have to pick one. Unfortunately, I can only pick one because that's the purpose of this video. I didn't choose that one as my favorite. But let me just show you another one. Of The BK Beauty ones are also very lovely. This one, I use it more as, I use it as a liner. And then I just fill it up, pull the rest of the lips. And I could use it as lipstick the width of the of the pencil is good enough for lining or for using as as lipstick and it's also a wonderful wonderful lip liner i just wanted to since only i could mention one then i, I mentioned the lisa Ulrich, the red one all right lipsticks <laughs> okay this one i discovered recently and i believe it's a new shade for this year i don't know if it's a new lipstick but it's a new shade and it's from byredo the first time i tested a lipstick from this brand and i loved it loved it it's a shade divorce it is the 209 silent divorce the packaging gorgeous the lipstick beautiful it doesn't have a scent it, i mean it doesn't have a fragrance let me swatch it look at that color i loved it it's not my favorite orange or my favorite red i gotta say but it's my favorite i discovered in 2021 it's just beautiful it applies beautifully oh and it's magnetic which i love it has some weight to it very glamorous very luxurious it does last a few hours i remember that i had it on for i think i only we needed to apply like after six hours and that's because i ate 
about six hours really good very creamy it doesn't get into my little fine lines it's just a beautiful lipstick it applies like a dream very creamy hydrating moisturizing or anything it was really 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 nice um i'm not wearing it today but all right this was the hardest decision of my life because i love the ysl lipstick bombs but i didn't discover that this year and i also love the chantecai lip veils i do love them a lot but i wasn't sure if there were lip balms or lipsticks so i was like what should i do i'm gonna choose one that has like a balmy effect but it's not really a balm and it's the rouge coco flash shade boy 54 i see myself reaching out for this all year i love it um, not all year because i discovered it like half halfway the year i discovered it it's this one it's very very light very subtle but it has like that balmy effect it's this one right here it is so pretty it feels so nice on the lips i see myself reaching out to it and reapplying it whenever i want whenever i need it's just a beautiful formula again it was recommended by my friend jen from my hello gorgeous for lipstick um i already chose that by Redo, but i have to mention runner-ups because it was so hard to choose i have the gucci lynette stone and um which i just love the formula i just love it this was what's so tied with the uh, one from from chanel they're very similar in shades if you notice this is the one from gucci and this is the one from chanel the chanel is a little bit more glossy and then the victoria beckham lipsticks are also really really good and i discovered them this year um i chose uh, to show you show you the shade fire which is like that orange i'm gonna put it here on top it has like they call it lipstick but for me it has like that balmy effect but it's a beautiful product and the chantecai lip veils i love that formula it's one of my favorite formulas but again i could only choose one so i think the one that i reached out a lot lately and i always think about when i think of a bomb aside from the ysl ones is the one from chanel even though it is not a bomb per se it's called a rouge coco flash but for me it has that balmy effect so that was very hard for lip gloss i love the pat mcgrath lip gloss but the one that i chose is the tom ford sunlust is called it doesn't say the name but it's this one this one's just so interesting because it looks gold but then when you apply it it turns like into this peachy shade so here it is when you apply it it's gold and then as as you apply it it turns peachy i love it and, and it feels so good on the lips too i just love the way it looks on my lips we're finishing up here with setting spray there was a few there are a few that i love but i'm gonna mention one that i discovered recently is a charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i am wearing it today i it was recommended again by jen she recommends me a lot of things actually i do love this setting spray it smells so nice like not super fragrant but it has a really nice beautiful scent it sits really well on the skin and dries up in seconds it i love the way it feels it doesn't make my skin feel sticky extra protection you know like you know it's gonna last your makeup is gonna last longer Whew, i did it and this is just makeup i probably do one about skincare because that one's gonna be just as long as this one because i've tried so many things this year and which i'm very happy about because it was a good year in that sense not good not good in other senses but at least for makeup it was good for me because i got to try a few things and i'm very thankful and i do it all i do it for me of course but i also do it for you guys so i test it so you guys don't have to spend the money and waste it if it's not good for you at least you get to see it on me and see how it works on me if you have similar skin tone or similar um skin characteristics yeah i'm very thankful for you guys for your support for watching me i hope you enjoyed this video as always i'm gonna leave links of the items i mentioned i'm gonna leave them in the description box below as well as what i'm wearing today and i want to thank you guys for coming over i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys tomorrow in another vlog summer bye